Hi, Grade Fours. Today we're going to consolidate what we've learned about transformations by completing the skills bank. The first question asks, what are the coordinates of each trapezoid on the grid? Remember, when we're completing coordinates, you need to first describe the coordinate along the x-axis or across the bottom, followed by the coordinate on the y-axis or up and down the left side. For example, the green trapezoid is located here. If we draw a line straight down, we can see that this is in square A. And if we look across to the y-axis, we see that it's 4. So we would write this as A4. Find the coordinates of the other three trapezoids. For question 2, if you were to translate the yellow trapezoid 2 left and 2 down, what coordinates would it be located at? For question 3, what translation would move the red trapezoid onto the space where the blue trapezoid is located? For question four, what translation would move the blue trapezoid onto the green trapezoid? We can see that the blue trapezoid is here, so it would need to travel across and then up. Be sure to specify how far and in which direction. Question five asks what translation would move the green trapezoid onto the yellow trapezoid. So again, you're taking one shape and moving it into another space. Be sure to describe the translation horizontally and vertically for each of those questions. For question six, you'll be using the coordinate grid below and inserting a red trapezoid on C4. Your first step is to find the location of C4 and then draw a red trapezoid in that space. For question seven, translate that same red trapezoid two spaces to the right and three spaces down and then color it green. For question eight, Translate the green trapezoid, so the one you've just drawn for question 7, 4 to the left and 5 up, and change that one to blue. For these questions, you will need to print the page and complete them on paper. For each of the rotations, be sure to focus on the degrees, so how far the triangle will rotate, and the point of rotation, as well as the direction of rotation. You can go back and look at the Rotating Triangles worksheet from last week to remind yourself of how to do this. For question 10, determine the angle, center, and direction of each rotation. There's space for you to write each of those factors below. For question 11, please draw a reflection of each of these following shapes. The reflection line has already been done for you. Be sure to watch carefully for where the, end, the shape should end up. 